We were crazy in love, careless and young, but I wouldn't change it You had me right from the start, you gave me your all, but something changed, yeah Good morning guys and welcome back to another Sunday meal prep video Super excited that y'all are joining me today We have a couple of good meals on the menu for the day uh, We are going to do the egg roll in a bowl Which I think everybody usually loves that We love that It's a super um, low point, low calorie meal We will pair that with our spring rolls and pot stickers And things like that on the nights that we eat it And then for our second meal We're also preparing a low point meal Which is going to be our chicken fajitas with our Spanish coffee cauliflower rice and then on the nights that I have that I will have some of my baked tostitos with that to eat the Spanish rice with so delicious so yummy low in points and then I'm gonna make my chocolate cookies uh, for dessert it's been like three weeks I think since I have made my chocolate cookies so chocolate cookies are coming back today and probably next weekend too because I'll just use like half a can of pumpkin this week and then use the other half next week so that nothing goes to waste but um, anyhow if that sounds like something you're interested in and you haven't yet subscribed please click that subscribe button down below and give me a like it really helps support my channel and also follow me over on Instagram I will leave my Instagram Instagram handle for you here on the screen as well and also I have a really great Facebook group it is called finding our way this is the icon to that Facebook group and I co-admin that with Bree from balancing life with Bree and Roy from recipes with Roy highly recommend you check it out there is a direct link down in the description box to that Facebook group also speaking of the description box I will have all of the recipes um, typed out or linked if it's another recipe that I am using during the video and uh, I will also have the links to the recipe that I have built in my WW app so that you can import it directly into yours so with all of that being said let's just get right into the video all right it is time for Charlie's prep today here's everything that he has to prep we have a whole slew of bell peppers so what I'm probably going to do is just have him do four of them for my breakfast. I'll kind of separate them so he knows. So those we will dice up as normal for the dicer. And then over here we will just slice all of these up for the chicken fajitas. And we have my tomato. It doesn't really look that ripe. Uh, if it doesn't seem good once he slices it up, I may have him pick up another one. He's going to have to make a Walmart run. Um, so anyway, I don't think this tomato is going to be that good, but we'll see. And then we have the cantaloupe and my pineapple as normal. Uh, I'll just wash my blueberries. And then we have the chicken breast here that he will cut up probably three chicken breasts. And then we will just freeze the other two for the chicken fajitas. So that's what Charlie has to prep today. My battery's fixing to die. So we're going to go ahead and roll into Charlie's prep now. Mama used to tell me love ain't right if it ain't 
right, we are ready to get started on our fruit bowls. As usual, I have my pineapple, cantaloupe, and blueberries here. And I just like to divide it as evenly as I can. Fruit is zero points for me, so I do not weigh it out or measure it. I just divide it equally. And this is a delicious side that goes along with my turkey sandwiches for lunch every day and along with my pizzas as well so i love to have this along with some chobani non-fat greek yogurt so i'm going to mix up seven containers of yogurt to carry with me and seven containers of fruit and i'll show it to you once it is done Alrighty, i have my fruit and yogurt bowls ready seven containers of fruit seven containers of yogurt again i will have this with my lunches every day and then charlie did go ahead and slice up my tomato he said that he thought that it looked okay so we will see, um, he's not gonna get me another one. He's actually at Walmart right now, but I don't think that he's gonna pick me up another tomato. At the moment, we will get one later in the week if that one does not taste good. Uh, and then here are my beautiful diced bell peppers for my eggs and my pizzas and stuff. So gonna put this away and then we're gonna get started on the chicken fajitas. All right, we are getting ready to start on our chicken fajitas. I have my recipe printed out here. So you need some, lean chicken breast just cut up into small little strips a uh, few bell peppers however many you want we kind of have a nice big pile of them here today i think this looks beautiful we're going to need one packet of the frontera fajita skillet sauce and then some fajita seasoning and then i like to add in some chili powder and ground cumin of course and then salt and pepper to salt and pepper my chicken with and then also i have the cauliflower rice here that we're going to make so i'm going to do two bags of cauliflower rice one can of fire roasted rotel one can of original rotel and then i also will add in some of the fajita seasoning the chili powder and the ground cumin and salt and pepper as well so kind of the same seasonings for both of these i have my pans out here we're going to start our chicken here in our green pan because it will probably cook it pretty quick i'm actually going to put my peppers on first because those will take the longest and then i always like to make my cauliflower rice in this pan here uh, we will basically soften it up and then once it is softened up we will add in the rotel and everything and just let it simmer until all of the liquid kind of dissipates so pretty easy meal to make especially when you have a charlie that does like all the prep and dices up the peppers and the chicken and everything for you so let's uh get this one done and then then we will be able to move on to the egg roll in a bowl. All right, like I said, I'm going to start the peppers first because they will take the longest. I'm just gonna spray my pan really well with my olive oil spray. And then we are just gonna go in with our beautiful bell peppers here that Charlie has sliced to perfection, if I don't make a mess. I wore a white t-shirt today. I don't really know what I was thinking. We'll see if uh, I get anything on it by the end of the day. I'm gonna be careful opening that fajita sauce. That time I tried to open the enchilada sauce, I really made a mess of that. So, got all those in there. All I'm gonna do is just salt and pepper them a little bit and put the lid on them and just let those kind of cook down. Once it warms up, I will cut it down to like a medium heat. Then once I get the chicken cooked, I will just mix the chicken and everything in here in this pan with the peppers and mix it all together. And we're just gonna give it a little stir and pop the lid on it and then we will move on to the chicken. So pretty much the same thing for the chicken. We're just gonna spray our pan. So I'm just gonna salt and pepper this side of the chicken and then put it in the pan and salt and pepper the other side. So I will be back in a few minutes once this gets started cooking and then we will add in the fajita seasoning, the ground cumin, the chili powder, and then kind of once it's done, I'll add in the uh, Frontera sauce. So we'll be back in just a minute. So before the chicken gets too loud, we'll go ahead and put our rice cauliflower in. So I have two bags of this, so there's one and two. We're just gonna put a little salt and pepper on it and basically just let it kind of soften up because it is still frozen. Once it is softened up, we'll add in the other seasonings and the uh, rotel. I'm just gonna give this a quick little stir and pop the lid on it that will help it soften up so the cauliflower rice is ready for me to go ahead and add in the seasonings and the rotel it is softened up really well so we are going to go in with one can of original rotel and one can of fire roasted rotel again if you don't like it so spicy then you can just use original or mild but y'all know we do and we're going to go in with some of the fajita seasoning and some ground cumin 
and some chili powder. And I'm just going to mix this up and I'm not going to put the lid back on now because basically I'm just going to let it slowly cook down until all of the liquid has kind of dried up and it looks truly like rice. And it is delicious and it tastes delicious eating it with my little Tostitos scoops. And this chicken steam is hot. It is burning my arm. And let's check our bell peppers real quick and then I think that our chicken will be ready to season up. So the bell peppers are looking pretty good. They're feeling much softer. I'm going to leave the lid off now and just let them continue to cook. So chicken is coming along. I'm actually going to drain a little bit of the liquid off of it so that it will kind of um, brown up a little bit on the outside edges. Y'all be quiet. Sorry if y'all hear the dogs barking. Charlie's gone to Walmart and this is what they do the whole time he's gone. Which he may be coming back now. I don't know. I don't hear the garage opening but I'm not really listening for it. So we're going to let the chicken cook for just another minute or two but I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some of these seasonings. We're going to go ahead and add in some fajita seasoning. Quite a bit of it. We really want it to have that good fajita taste. And then of course my two favorites, ground cumin and chili powder. And I'm gonna use my scissors this time and cut open my Frontera sauce packet. Somebody suggested that when I made a mess with the enchilada packets the other day. They were like, use the scissors. I was like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Instead of trying to rip it open and it going everywhere. So the chicken is almost done. I just want it to kind of brown up some. So we will be right back. And this meal is almost done. The uh, cauliflower rice will still need to set and simmer for a little while, but it's looking good. The peppers, I'm going to move the pepper pan over here after I get the chicken done, and then we're going to mix it all together, the chicken and peppers. Okay, so I think the chicken is looking good. We're going to go ahead and go in with most of the fajita skillet sauce, the Frontera. I love these sauces. And I'm just going to let this cook for a minute or two. Then we're going to mix it in with the peppers and add the rest of the Frontera sauce. Okay, so I have my chicken mixed in with my peppers. I'm just going to mix it up together well. Oh, I need to go ahead and add in the rest of the fajita seasoning or fajita sauce. It's just a little bit I like to save to make sure some gets on the peppers. Look at that y'all, it's looking delicious. I love this meal, it's one of my favorites. I think this comes out to one point per serving, uh, which I think is awesome. And then I can have my little baked tostitos with it. I ate this meal a lot when I was really first starting on Weight Watchers before I started my YouTube channel. I bet we were eating chicken fajitas at least once every two or three weeks, it seemed like, because it's such a filling low point meal. And you get tons of veggies with the peppers and the cauliflower. And then I get to eat some chips with it too. So the cauliflower still needs to cook down a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that it's still a little bit liquidy. Uh, but for the most part, this meal is pretty much done. I'm just going to let these cook for a few more minutes. And then we will be ready to plate it up. All right, we are ready to plate up our chicken fajitas. Everything is done. Looking and smelling delicious. So we are just going to put the chicken and peppers in this side of the container. And then I like to put the fried rice on the other side of the container. So let's get this plated up. And then same thing for the rice. Just going to divide it as equally as I can and that's what one of the meals is going to look like. Nice hearty portions, very filling, very low in points. Alright, here is the completed chicken fajitas with the Spanish cauliflower rice looks delicious it smells delicious highly recommend this meal i've eaten it several times over the past three years or so that i have been doing ww and i still love it just as much now as i did the first time that i ever tried it so highly recommend and now let's move on to the egg roll in a bowl okay we are ready to get started on the egg roll in a bowl this is the recipe that i'm going to use 
Um, this basically comes out to about a point per serving. This is kind of based on the Oak Blue plan, which is pretty much what my personal points are set up to. Uh, it calls for one and a half pounds of lean ground turkey. I'm going to use two just because I have two. I'm not going to waste the other half. It's zero points for me anyway. Three cups of cabbage. I have two bags of this coleslaw mix here. I don't know how many cups is in a bag. I'm just going to go ahead and use both of them. Um, it calls for a medium carrot shredded. You know, I'm lazy, so I already got some shredded carrots. I'll probably use about half of this. We'll see. There is some carrots in this coleslaw mix. Not a whole lot, just a few, but I'm uh, going to use that. Then we need half a teaspoon of garlic powder or fresh minced garlic. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'll use. I haven't gotten either one of those out yet. We will need two tablespoons of sesame oil. We're also going to need two, no, half a tablespoon of fresh ginger. I'm just going to use this ginger puree. It's easy. Uh, two tablespoons of green onions, which I am not going to use. One tablespoon of rice vinegar, which I do have that here. Um, salt and pepper, and then it says optional. You can use two tablespoons of coconut aminos or tamari or hoisin sauce or something like that. I do have hoisin sauce. I've never used it in here, but since I have some because of the, I guess, the orange chicken recipe, that's what I got that for. Maybe I'll add it. Maybe not. We'll see. But we're going to get started on it, and Charlie found my wok. I knew that I had one somewhere. I have not used this in a long time, so we'll see how it cooks up in that. But once you add in, like, all the coleslaw and stuff, I hardly have a skillet big enough. But this wok doesn't really look that big either. We'll see. We'll make it work. Um, so let me get everything kind of opened and set up, and we will get started. Okay, so the first step is basically just to brown the meat. So I'm just going to cook this ground turkey until it is no longer pink. I'm going to go ahead and just salt and pepper it as normal. So once it is brown, we will be back and start adding in everything else. All right, so we are back. We have the ground turkey brown, which means it's not pink anymore. It's looking good. I am ready to go ahead and add in the fourth of a cup of water that it calls for. And we can go ahead and add in the shredded cabbage and carrots. I might have to switch pans. I don't think this one's going to be big enough. We'll go ahead and add in a few more carrots. Okay, hold. I'm going to switch pans. Okay, so we've switched over to this regular skillet. I thought that it would be fun to use the wok, but we obviously need a bigger one. So now we need two tablespoons of sesame oil, which this is a half tablespoon, so I'm going to do four of these. So there's one, two, three, and four. Four. So that's two tablespoons of sesame oil. We need half a tablespoon of ginger, which it calls for fresh ginger, but we're going to use this ginger paste. It works just as well. We need half a teaspoon of garlic powder or minced garlic. We're just going to use this minced garlic. And we are not adding in the onions. If you were, you would add the onions in at this point as well. So I'm just going to try to stir this up as best I can. And we're going to let this cook for about four or five minutes until the cabbage is softened up. And then I will be back. Okay, I am back. This is looking pretty good. I think that the cabbage is probably softened up enough. I don't want it too soft. Uh, I, the only thing left to add in is the rice vinegar. So we're going to add in one tablespoon of this. And then basically it's just going to cook for another minute or two and it will be done. This is actually a super easy recipe. And again, it is very low in points. Uh, anytime we've tried this, we've loved it. Again, we will eat our chicken pot stickers with it and even the spring roll. Even though this is egg roll in a bowl, but <laughs> we still do like to have those little sides with it because I have the points to spare. I love bulky low point meals. And I'm sure that um, now with personal points, you'll probably earn a point or two and additional points for the vegetables that are in here because it's mostly vegetables and just the lean ground turkey. So I'm going to finish this up and then we'll be ready to plate up and then all I have left to make is my chocolate cookies. Okay, so we are ready to plate up the egg roll in a bowl. I'm just going to divide it evenly amongst the six bowls and it um, is very delicious low in points 
and that's about what a bowl's gonna look like. Let me get these divided out and then we'll be ready to move on to the cookies. Okay, here is the egg roll in a bowl. I have it all portioned out into the six portions. I'm gonna put this away and then we will move on and make our chocolate cookies and we'll be done for the day, woohoo! All right, we are ready to start on our chocolate peanut butter protein cookies. I have my recipe here printed out. These are located in the Facebook group under albums. If you want to print out some of my recipes, I'll put some out there. Um, but we are going to use one scoop of the Matrix peanut butter cookie protein powder, one scoop of the PE Science Select and the Frosted Chocolate Cupcake. We are going to use about 10 grams of the Hershey's Special Dark Cocoa, 5 grams of the sugar-free Jell-O chocolate fudge pudding mix. I'm going to use about half of a can of the 100% pumpkin. If you build this recipe in your recipe app, do not use this Libby's brand. Pick a generic brand or else it will add a ton of points to your day and you don't want that to happen. I'm going to use about 150 grams of egg whites. I don't know if I said that or not. A heaping tablespoon of baking powder, one serving of the Lily's No Sugar Added Baking Chips. And that is pretty much it. I have my pan ready, I have my bowl ready, my cookie scoop. We're just going to spray with the Baker's Joy. And yeah, this takes just a few minutes to mix together and then they're going to bake at 350 for about 9 to 10 minutes. Okay, so we are ready to get started. I do have my little sifter here. I have started sifting my dry ingredients just to get any little chunks or anything out. So we are gonna go in with one scoop of the PE Science Select and the Chocolate Frosted Cupcake. Both of these protein powders are linked in my Amazon store, which you can find down below in the description box. I love them. I think that they both are great. They bake great. They're very sweet. They taste great. So other people have tried alternatives and liked it. Some have not, but I have not tried any alternative. And we're gonna go in with one scoop of the peanut butter cookie protein powder from my scale and then we're gonna do 10 grams of the Hershey's special dark cocoa okay that's not enough let me grab my other one which I didn't have any more of these special dark so I'm just using regular so I need to put that on my grocery list and we're gonna go in with we'll do the jello we're gonna go in with five grams of the jello sugar-free chocolate fudge or sugar-free chocolate any sugar-free chocolates fine and it's just five grams. If you don't have it, it's probably not that big of a deal. I need to put baking powder on my grocery list too for next week. So we're gonna do a nice heaping tablespoon of baking powder. Do a little bit more just for extra good measure. And then I'm just going to sift these. And then I'm just gonna stir it up well, make sure that it's all mixed together well. Then we're gonna go in with half of the can of the pumpkin. There's 425 grams in here. So I'm gonna go for about 200 and 12 grams or so. Okay, perfect. That was 215. And then we're going to go in with about 150 grams or so of the egg whites. And then we're just going to mix this well. Okay, so I think that consistency looks pretty good. It's not too thick. It's not too runny. We're going to add in our 14 grams of the Lily's baking chips. And then I'm just going to mix that well. And then it will be ready to scoop out into the 12 cookies. I'm going to spray my baking sheet. and let's get them scooped out. are ready to go in the oven for about nine to ten minutes 350 degrees all right here are my cookies fresh out of the oven looking delicious i'm just going to let them sit here and cool a little bit and then we will be ready to set everything up we are done for the day all right everyone we have finally finished meal prep for the day so over here i have my seven containers of fruit and my seven containers of yogurt here we have the egg roll in a bowl which smells delicious by the way and then I have my chocolate cookies back here ready to go. They turned out great, I think, this week. And then we have the chicken fajitas with the Spanish cauliflower rice. And then, of course, I have my bacon and eggs ready for the week. 
have 10 pieces of bacon. I will have two pieces each day along with a container of these scrambled eggs. So overall, I have completed another successful meal prep. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Sunday meal prep. I think that we got a good one this week. I'm set up for success, like I always say. I never have to worry about what I'm gonna eat at all Sunday through Friday night. Saturday is the only day that I kind of leave up in the air and really that's just so that we can have a meal out. Um, but I love meal prepping and I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to my Jennifer's Gems that make it all the way to the end. I love you guys. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and give me a like. It really helps out my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Gave me your all, but something changed, yeah. And I know, I know, I know, I sometimes drive you.